My name's Josh, I'm at Tommy Rock, and today I'm going to show you how to get a metal guitar tone by blending different amps together. If you enjoy the video or learn something, then like it because that helps my video be seen by many more people. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, then press subscribe because I'm definitely going to be posting more. So for a little bit of context, I recorded two guitar DIs. And I'm going to be reamping through three different amps. I'm using a Mesa cabinet with an SM57 on the edge of the cone. That's because this is probably the most common used microphone technique for marking guitars. If you want to see a microphone shootout, then I did one recently um, with 12 different microphones at Tommy Rock. So for this video, I'm going to do three different layers. Um, the first one will be just a general overall tone that'll try to capture the guitar the best I can. For this, I'm using a PV5150. The next layer will be less distorted clearer and more articulation um, and for this I'm using a bad cat and then the third layer will be heavily distorted and low end kind of a thick layer and for this I'm using our orange rocker 30. They're all going to be reamped using a radial reamp box and they're all going to be recorded into a great river preamp. So now it's time to get into the audio examples. Take note how every amp has a different characteristic and you can take advantage of all these characteristics into one guitar tone. So this first tone is the overall main tone using the PV5150. This tone is the less distorted, clearer tone for clarity and articulation using the bad cat. And this last guitar tone is using the Orange Rocker 30. It's heavily distorted and tons of low end, but this is just to add a bit of weight under what we already have. So let's start off with just the standard tone and then we can add in this thinner, more articulate tone to bring out the attack of each note. Now let's add the orange rocker 30. Listen to how everything just thickens up as I blend it in. And with this one, you can also choose to have as much as you want. Do you want a thicker, more muddy tone or a thinner, clearer tone?
And now here's a blend of all three. Um, this is what I found myself liking the most. So there's so many options with this. You could use different amps, different microphones, um, but this video was just to show the basics of amp blending. If you want more professional audio related content, then head to joshpartelmastering.com. There I have a blog where I try to post one article per week. The blogs I do there will just be transcribed YouTube videos into blog format. I can also add additional information and sometimes there'll be exclusive articles on there that don't quite work as video form. If you have any recommendations on anything you'd like me to cover, comment them down below and I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.